Hey y'all, this is Olive Destiny, and in this video, I'm going to show you all how I do my own French pedicure at home. So for convenience, I'm going to go ahead and show you all everything that I'll be using in this video. I use Q-tips and cotton balls to remove my old nail polish. I use a nail brush that I got from Michaels to line up my white tip when I put it on my nails. You'll see it later. I use a nail brush to remove excess dust from fouling and everything like that. I use acetone to remove the nail polish whip, a nail file to shape my nails, a buffer to smooth out the nails so that the polish goes on smoothly, toe separators to keep your polish you know, in place and without bumping your toes and stuff. I, the colors that I'll be using uh, is LA Colors French White. I'll be using Ruby Kisses Top Coat and for the entire nail as my base coat I'll be using LA Colors Mega Grow. I'm using a pumice stone to remove the excess uh, dead skin and then I finish it off with foot lotion and cuticle oil at the end to moisturize my feet and nails. So this is everything that I'll be using and I also want to inform you guys that I'm not a professional. This is just how I do my own nails to keep from pain. Okay, so I'm starting off by taking the acetone and I'm just going to remove my old nail polish. Ugh. I hesitated to do this video because I just didn't want y'all seeing my feet like you know, the finished product looked nice, but I was like, I don't want to show my feet on the camera. <laughs> but just remove my old nail polish. <clears throat> and then I don't, I take a soap, but I don't add a lot because bubbles will go everywhere. I add two drops of whatever kind of soap or whatever you want to add in to the water. So let your feet soak for about 10 minutes and then you can start working with your cuticles and doing everything that you want to do because it'll be soft. I forgot to show this in the beginning but this is a brown sugar scrub that I made. There's plenty of videos online that you can find showing how you can make your own but I like to use that because it's a nice exfoliator and it removes the dead skin. I kind of take it all the way up to my legs also just to you know. So I worked it in there real good, rinse it off with the pointy side of the cuticle pusher and I clean out my toes pretty much um, and then I use the cuticle pusher side to push my cuticles back <laughs> narrowing is so dumb I don't know what to say but anyways y'all can see what I'm doing I'm just cleaning out my toes pushing my cuticles back getting out all the dirt and everything like that So after that, I take the nail brush and I remove the excess uh, dirt and dust from, you know, from what I just done. And then I use my Prima Stone to remove the dead skin on my heels. And I usually have a little bit around my big toe. So I use the Prima Stone to remove that. Okay, so after that, I just rinse my feet off uh, one more time to make sure that all the brown sugar scrub is gone. And then I'm pretty much done. You can turn off the machine and dry off your feet. And now we're ready to do the French manicure. I mean, pedicure. <clears throat> my voice is acting up late lately, so I apologize. Okay, so I'm all done. This is what my feet look like. If you're not really into doing anything extra to your feet, you can put on, you know, whatever you want to do at this point. But I'm going to show you how I do my French pedicure. So I start off by shaping my toes to make them look the way I like for them to look kind of square. Pretty much, I guess that's why it's called a French pedicure. Then after I shape all of my toes, I use the buffer to smooth them out. This makes the polish go on really smoothly and it gives you like, it removes ridges and just any excess lines that you may have going along your nails. And you can remove all the excess dust with the nail brush and a cotton ball with acetone or nail polish remover. Because you want the nails to be clean before you start. You don't want to have any dust then it will be in your polish. take the mega grow now I'm not going to put this all over the nail just yet because we're going to line up the white tip first so it'll be pointless to polish the entire nail you'll see why in a minute but only I only put it along the part where the tip is going to be for now 
In between each step, I'm making sure that I let the polish dry completely. So, because you don't want it to smudge or have any mistakes. I just apply the white polish to my tips. This doesn't have to be perfect yet. If you can get yours perfect, then that's good. But I just go ahead and I apply mine. And after it dries, I take a nail brush and I line it up perfectly. Now, I wipe it on a cotton ball because if you, I was wiping it on the towel at first and the acetone was kind of picking up the color from the towel and you don't really want anything to bleed into the white because you want it to be like really vibrant so I use a cotton ball to wipe off the excess and you can either shape your nails to go straight across or you can kind of have the white tip kind of curvy like a C curve or something um, I just for the most part kept mine straight so after this dries I take the Mega Grow and I apply that to the rest of the nails. And I like this because it has like this pinkish red tint to it. So it kind of make my nails pop even more than if I was only applying just a clear coat. So then I go in and I remove any excess and everything like that. And keep in mind that I'm waiting on each step and now the polish to dry before I move on to the next step. So now I'm just going to add a little design. You can keep yours regular French if you like, but I just like a little extra. So I'm just going to do this little quick design on my nails and there's not much to say about it so you can just watch alright so after the nail polish design and everything dries you can go ahead and apply your top coat and I also apply cuticle oil to nourish my nails from the entire process of working with them and pushing the cuticles back you want to oil them. I take a foot lotion I'm using this one by April I think April shower I don't know but I just applied it all over to show you guys that how the bottom of my foot looked but I just I didn't get a good shot of it so after you finish you're pretty much ready to go you can put on a cute pair of sandals and you know you're ready to start your day so this is what the finished results look like and like I said I'm not a professional this is just how I learned to do my own uh, nails and everything like that if you have any questions you can leave them down below I will post um, the name of everything that I use in the description box so yeah, now we'll continue to do more nail videos. It's just more convenient for me to do hair videos because nail videos are more harder to record. But I appreciate you guys for watching this video and I'll talk to you later.